You know, to me, it's clear that the future is not merely about enhanced web pages or you know, just being able to search and find more information. It's really about a qualitative change in what people expect from computers and how they interact with them. In this specialty category, you know, I think it's driven a lot by a world full of sensors. Uh, and you know, these sensors will, will play important roles in many societally important areas. You know, I've just chosen a, a few to highlight here where we have interactions now with many of you in the room uh, you know, around the environmental forecasting, uh, which we've been doing uh, medical image analysis and a lot of uh, processing of those kind of, uh, of sophisticated images, the ability to synthesize or, or use 3D display technology in concert with 3D medical imaging. I think all of these hold, hold great promise. One of the ones that I think is particularly interesting and I just brought to show this morning is this last one where uh, we've been working with people uh, and, and this is an example of, a, of a, an ultrasonic detector. Is there a way to basically get these images, to do prenatal exams, uh, or, or with someone who has minimal training? And so, you know, this is an example of a, of a, a cell phone, you know, with this uh, ultrasonic scanner plugged in, as in through the USB port. There's now enough computing power, even in today's smartphones, to basically be you know, the data capture analysis and graphical presentation capability for that. If you say on top of that, maybe I even have some cloud capability backing it up, that I've got some ability to take the locally captured data and, and move it somewhere, uh, or to use it to create some type of interaction if you think there's a problem, then I think each of these things, you know, creates a a, a, an opportunity for us to use technology to solve some of society's biggest problems.